Hey everyone and welcome to Living Ottawa and in this week's video we're exploring the neighborhoods of Maryville Gardens, Grenfell Glen, Pine Glen and Country Place and these neighborhoods are located in the west end of Ottawa and they offer beautiful nature trails, mature trees, large lots, its own designated sand dune area but before we get into it, showreel, hit it! Hey everyone, this is Pierre Tuin, living in Ottawa, and if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to the channel. This is the place if you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, sleep, play, and live in Ottawa. And if that sounds like the kind of content that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. We get a lot of people that reach out to us that are looking to relocate to Ottawa and they're curious about settling where they are and buying in Ottawa and we absolutely love helping them on their journey. Now, if you think about making a move and you have questions about the market, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or even send us an email because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa. And on today's Ottawa Neighborhood Tour, we're visiting Maryville Gardens, Grenfell Glen, Pine Glen and Country Place neighborhoods. And as you might have guessed, this suburban Ottawa neighborhood is made up of four distinct communities. All of the sections of this neighborhood were part of the former city of Nepean. And I grew up just a very short distance from these great neighborhoods. And to get a feel for the whole neighborhood, we need to look at each in its own part. Maryville Gardens is a small residential neighborhood of about 500 residents and the homes are surrounded by Maryville Park and are in turn surrounded by the lush forested green space of the Greenbelt. And Pinhay Sand Dunes are directly south of Maryville Gardens and the neighborhood has easy access to nature trails in Pinhay Forest. And the homes in Maryville Gardens are primarily detached single family homes on beautiful wooded lots that are on septic and water well services. And nature lovers and dog walkers will feel right at home here. And Grenfell Glen has another 450 residents or so. Also surrounded by the Greenbelt, this little neighborhood has developed in the mid-1950s. Located in the southeast area of Maryville Gardens, Grenfell Glen is filled with mid-century detached homes and some of the architecture is absolutely breathtaking. Pride in home ownership is very evident in this area. And the homes sit on large lots, big trees, and the neighborhood has plentiful access to nature trails in this wooded part of the Greenbelt. It is also home to a large park and a soccer field baseball diamond and tennis courts and these areas are neatly bisected by Slack Road. Pine Glen predates Grenfell Glen by a few years. Building began in 1951 in this community east of Maryville Gardens and Grenfell Glen. And this neighborhood is further divided into Pine Glen West and Pine Glen East, or Pine Glen Annex. Home to about a thousand residents, Pine Glen lacks the easy access to Pinhay Forest of both Maryville and Grenfell Glen. But the Greenbelt Pathway runs along the southern border along with Black Rapids Creek and to the east the neighborhood borders to the Rideau River. You'll find parks and local businesses scattered throughout Pine Glen and while there are a few multi-unit homes the area remains mostly detached single-family homes. 
Country Place is tucked in the South Pine Glen East and next to Pine Glen West, and the Greenbelt Pathway becomes less wooded as it passes by Country Place's southern border. And Country Place has developed later than its companions, with most of the homes being built in the 1970s. It is also still mainly detached single-family homes, but the lots are less wooded than those in the other parts of the neighborhood. And you'll find Black Rapids Creek Nature Preserve and the Rideau Canal Lock 13, Black Rapids Lock Station, right off the southeastern tip of Country Place. As the communities primarily started to be constructed in the late 1950s and throughout the 1960s, we see varying degrees of architectural design mixed with updated properties. About 25.4% of the properties were built prior to the 1960s, whereas 54.5% were built between 1960 and the 1980s. And properties built after 1980s and pre-2000s accounts for 13.7%. And for the properties built after 2000, this counts for 4.9% of the homes. And home ownership is strong in this area with 92.4% owner occupied versus the Ottawa average of 65.7%. Conversely, renters account for only 7.6% of the neighborhood versus the Ottawa average of 34.3%. These four distinct neighborhoods do have plenty of things in common. They're filled with detached homes, have ample and easy access to gorgeous wooded areas of the Greenbelt, and the homes have such great character and privacy throughout, making it a great place to relocate to. And speaking of relocating, if you have any questions about the moving process, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class, because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week, we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care.